Hey everybody, welcome back to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and here on my YouTube channel. And in this video, this is part four of our beginner guides uh, series to Universal Audio Luna. In this video, I'm gonna show you 16 different shortcuts and ones that I tend to use the most and the ones that you'll probably use the most as well to help speed up your workflow in Universal Audio Luna. If you have not seen the other parts, one, two, and three, check the playlist in the description box below. If you're someone new to Universal Audio Luna, for someone thinking about getting into Universal Audio Luna and you want to know an easy step-by-step -step guide how to get up and running, how to navigate, how to use shortcuts and do some basic stuff so you can get up and running quickly, that playlist is for you. But before we get started, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know while I'm posting additional content. And also, if this is your first time here, go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com because I want to give you a free mixing course. It's worth a hundred bucks. It's right on the homepage. It's my gift to you just for visiting homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And if you stick around till the end of this video, I'm gonna give you something else for free. So here we are in Universal Audio Luna, picking up where we left off from the last video. Again, you can check the link in the description box below. The last video we left off importing audio, organizing our session, color coding, naming, so on and so forth. Now that we're in Luna and we have a session and before we start working on the mixing portion of this stuff, I wanna walk you through some, some shortcuts and things that I think you'll find very handy. So I urge you to stop the video along the way and write down these command keys. Um, and I have myself a list here and I'm gonna go through them one at a time. Now there, these are in no particular order, just as they were coming to mind, I wrote them down. So the first thing that you're gonna use all the time, great shortcut, is the way we could zoom in and out on the timeline, which on your keyboard will be the letter R and the letter T for Tom. So if I use R, it's gonna zoom out. And if I use the letter T, it is gonna zoom in. Very, very handy. If we have our playhead here, it's gonna kind of focus and center in on the playhead. So T and R, that's something you're gonna use all the time. Another shortcut, which is, you know, kind of kind of handy just to, you know, make people are not aware. If you wanna copy and paste something in Luna, let's say copy and paste this clip. Normally you would hold Command C, Command V, or go up to edit. Man, you do copy paste or on, you would do something like that. What's great about Luna is you never have to worry about using the command key when you're using copy and paste. So the letter C and the letter V is all you need to do. So if I want to copy this clip, I'll highlight it, hit the letter C. Say I want to put it over here with my playhead, hit the letter V. And we've now copy and pasted that clip without having to use the command key, which is kind of handy, kind of nifty. The third one is being able to switch between the two windows or the two screens here in Luna. This is the edit screen or our timeline in the mixer. That is done with the command and the equals button. Holding down command and toggling your equals button will bring you from the edit screen to the mixer screen. And you'll also see that at the top here in the view. You can also click on these icons. I showed you that in the last video. But command equals is the is the um is the shortcut for it. Let's see the next one here. Let me just check these off to make sure I'm not going to miss any. Next one, which is really, really great, uh, which is very handy, is changing the height of your tracks. Now, normally you come over to this little icon and you can change the height of your tracks, but you can do it with a hotkey or a shortcut. And the way you're going to do that is you are going to hold down the control key and the option key and then use your up and down arrow. Your down arrow will make them smaller. Your up arrow will make them larger. Once again, that's control option. Hold those two keys down, up and down arrow. Number five, to put all of the tracks in view. So if I do command, control option, excuse me, let's say I make these really big. And now you want, instead of scrolling down, you don't want to have to keep scrolling with your mouse to see the other tracks. You want to put everything in view on the screen all at once both from a width, horizontal, and vertical, you're gonna hold Control, Option, Command, those three keys and hit the down arrow. And that's gonna bring everything into view. So there's no scrolling. All of my tracks on the left-hand side are in view and from the beginning of my song to the end of my song. Once again, that's Control, Option, Command, hold those three keys, hit the down arrow. Number six, if you wanna split a clip, Let's say here in the center, let's say you wanted to take this clip here where the playhead is and you wanna break it or split it. You just put the playhead wherever you want, hit the letter B, that's gonna split it. 
Now you'll see you have two separate uh, clips here that can be moved if you need to, right? If you wanna heal that clip or put it back together, you just select both with your holding down your shift key and do command H for heal. So that is the split number six and the heal number seven. If you wanna consolidate a clip, let's say we're gonna do this. We're gonna do, we'll do a B and a B. And we have three events here. We can highlight those and we can come to consolidate right here. Consolidate will also do that. So if I click consolidate, you'll see it consolidates at one, one down to one big clip of audio where this could be very handy, unlike just splitting and healing. And let's say you have Tom, Tom, Toms and drums. I've already done it here in this particular session in the last video, but let's say you had a bunch of mic bleed here from your Tom one track, right? And we were gonna go through and we were going to get rid of all the bleed and we were gonna lower and clean up all the bleed. And now we have a bunch of slices and let's say we were gonna get rid of this. This was all mic bleed, for example, right? And now we say, well, we want this to one be one big block of audio. We don't want it to be separate uh, clips. So what we would do is we'd highlight them all like so and then go to consolidate or you can right click in any one of these and you can go consolidate okay and there you go and now it's what it's back to one big block of audio now you do lose your fade ins and your fade outs which we're going to talk about fades in a second so if you had fades you'll have to refade and the way we're going to fade i may as well show you that right now is we just select here and we hit the letter f and you'll see there is if i zoom in here you'll see there's a fade out here. And if I go back to, let's say here, again, that's, and then if I wanna check out the beginning of the clip and I were to zoom out, you'll see there is, oops, a fade in here. So highlighting the clip, hitting the letter F will put a fade in and a fade out automatically, which is very handy. So that is number number eight. Number nine, if you wanna zoom in on a, on a specific selection so you can work on the audio, instead of highlighting and then adjusting the size of your clip, all you have to do is select and hit the letter E for Edward. And that's gonna zoom us up here and we can go ahead and we can work on our audio and then we can hit the letter E again and that'll bring us even back to a larger size. There we go, see that? All we have to do is select and hit the letter E. You do that with any clip here. E, hit it back, E. Okay, so that's another handy one. What's that, number nine, number 10, number 11, if we wanna do uh, tab to transient, let's go back to the beginning here um, and we'll zoom in a little. So let's say we wanna tab to the transient on this kick, just hit the tab key. And if I were to zoom out so you can see it a little bit better, it'll find the transients. See that? So tab the transients. Very handy if you need to do that kind of stuff for timing issues and such, that's very handy. Number 12, if you wanna, everything is automatically snapping to the grid. So for example, if I zoom out here and let's say I wanna move this clip, as you'll see on the little counter up here where my mouse is, look at where my cursor is up here at the top, right? If I were to take this clip and move it, you'll see it snapping to the grid, right? You can see it's moving up, right? See that? If I wanna temporarily disable that, all I have to do is as I move it, hold down the command key and you'll see now the counter, it's not snapping to the grid anymore. It's moving off the grid. Make sense? So that's how you do that. So that is a number 11, number 12, oh, that was number 12, number 13. If I wanna zoom in on the waveform, let me just get all my tracks here back to the height. If I wanna zoom in on the actual waveform so I could see the waveform, the way we do that is we hold, uh, let's see, we hold command and option and we use our bracket key and that's gonna zoom in on the waveform or our, 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 left, our left bracket will zoom out, our right bracket will zoom in. 
So it's option command brackets, option command brackets. Okay. Now this doesn't change the clip gain or the volume. This is just the zoom. So you can see the waveform better, or if it's too much, if you want to see it a little less does not change the volume. Okay. Number, let's see if we want to reset that. Let's say we're doing this here and we got it way up here and we just want to reset it back to its default, what it originally was at. We are going to hold uh, control option commands and we're going to hit the left bracket and that will bring it back to its default, whatever it was when we imported the audio. Okay. So option commands, let's say left or let's say when it's, it's zoomed out left bracket, right bracket, and we want to get back to the default. Just add the control key, hit the left, and that will bring it back to its default, right? Okay, number 15, it's not really a shortcut, but people wanna know, and this is a little different in this DAW compared to like Studio One. If you wanna to return to zero, wherever your play ad happens to be, you can't come up to the transport, but the easiest way to do it is hit the return key on your keyboard, okay? Return key will always bring you back to zero. And number 16, if you want to, and we will, let's lengthen our tracks here. If you see our little, the clip name up here, see the clip name and this one is a kick and it shows our quantizing and our clip gain. If we double click on the name, left click, it brings up a little box where we can change the name of the clip. We can mute the clip. We can do the clip gain right here, right? Instead of using the fader, you could do it with the pot. You can change the pitch. You can change the warping if you need to, or you can reset it. Or you can, when you're done, you can just hit done. So just double click on the name and that brings up this little box to give you some easier way to control what is shown and displayed on the clip. So that is 16 different shortcuts, workarounds, workflow tips, speed up workflow tips for Universal Audio Luna. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other Universal Audio Luna shortcuts that I might have forgotten about, but these are ones that I use the most, and these are ones that are pretty common. They're shortcuts for everything, but these are the ones that I, I find that I use over and over and over again. So it might be good for you to go ahead and write those down and keep them by your workstation. So as you're building the muscle memory in your fingers, you can get around Universal Audio Luna quickly and efficiently. So I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. So as I said at the beginning, I wanna give you something else for sticking around to the end of the video. So as I said, go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and get the free mixing course. It's right on the homepage. Click that button, 90, a $97 course, absolutely free. Once you take one of those, that, that course, if you wanna take one of my other full length, fully featured training courses on the website, and we have everything from EQ to compression, recording, mixing, mastering, all kinds of stuff from beginners, absolute beginners to intermediate to all the way up to advanced and so much more. I want to give you a 25% discount coupon code. That coupon code is YouTube 25. You put that in at a checkout, it'll take 25% off any course on the website. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave comments below. Let me know if there's anything else in Universal Audio Luna that you'd like to see in a future video. And until the next video, I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com. Thanks so much for watching me today, everyone. And I'll see you guys very soon.